Hey, what's up guys? I'm from BSC Tech. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can fix uh, error buffering or streaming on your Fire Stick Live TVs or Fire Stick TVs. So fairly simple and straightforward guide. Just go through these steps that definitely you will be able to fix your uh, slow connection or the error connection problem when you try to stream a channel. So the first and the most recommended uh, way to fix this is to switch from Wi-Fi to Ethernet connection. If you're using a LAN cable, it will basically eliminate 99.9% .9 of your problem because the Wi-Fi can drop out every now and then, especially with the bad weather. And uh, in case if your fire stick is far from your uh, router, especially if you have thick walls and you're not in an open area. So the first thing is to switch from Wi-Fi to Ethernet if possible. Uh, moving towards the next step, which is to go into the settings section, then click on network. Once you click on network, press and hold your play button for two seconds from your remote control. And after that, you will land on this page, which shows you connection status of your internet. Currently, I'm connected using a five gigahertz Wi-Fi connection. And as you can see on my screen, the both sections are ticked in green, which means the connection to Wi-Fi is stable with good channel quality and the signal strength is also good, which means there's no problem recorded on this page. Remember guys, if you see any error on this page, it's time to either improve your Wi-Fi connection or reboot your router or change the position of your router and keep it close in case you want to use Wi-Fi or uh, if you have LAN access, you can move towards that. That will definitely sort your problem. So that was tip number two. Third tip is uh, going to the notifications section. Click on these three lines on your remote control options. Then click on settings. After that app notification. And here we have uh, the app notifications. You can basically restart those apps or uh, force close them, which you don't want to use in the background. So let's talk about this one. You can switch it off if you don't use File Explorer or uh, the list of apps will be displayed on this section, especially those apps which are fetching uh, uh, data in the background. So as soon as they fetch uh, data in the background and that app is not updated, that will have a drastic effect on your overall streaming speed. So you can do that from here as well. So that was tip number three. And then we'll go back towards tip number four, which is to land on uh, preference section then data monitoring and make sure this is switched off. Now we move towards the next step, which is to go at the main home screen and click on find. Once you click on find, you will land on the search tab. So in the search tab, you can either type or you can use your remote control with the voice control and say background. Once you say background, you will land on the search result area where you will see uh, background apps and uh, process list app go ahead and download this app that app is absolutely free once you open it you will see the list on the top and uh, the list of apps running in the background remember guys it's exactly the same thing which you experience on the mobile where uh, you use multitasking in order to uh, remove the background running tasks or apps so here we have these apps which are consuming data so if you are on limited or slow data uh, then the background apps will definitely play a major role so you can close these apps by going into the close all section once you click on that it will take you back towards uh, uh, the apps uh, section from here you have multiple options you can either uh, uh, force stop them but we always prefer to clear the cache before you do that and if you're not sure about an app which is running in the background you can simply either uninstall that or uh, simply click on uh, clear data, clear cache, and then force stop. So we'll click on that, and then we'll click on clear cache. That will basically clear the cache in the background. And then we will click on the second app, force stop. And after that, we'll go back to the main screen. And right after you do all these steps, remember guys, you need to reboot your Fire Stick or Fire Stick Lite. So you can do that by holding uh, the center of your remote control and your play button for four, five to 10 seconds. Keep holding it. And uh, as soon as uh, you see the message on screen, your Fire TV stick is powering off, it will automatically reboot and that will basically complete the whole process. Once rebooted, you can move on and start using your Fire Stick TV again. And hopefully this will definitely fix your problem. If this video helps you out in different ways and uh, your buffering and streaming problem is solved, click on the subscribe button and also let us know in the comment section below if you have any comments or feedback regarding this video. 
I'll see you soon with another video. Till then, take good care of yourself.